The Devil Wears Prada plays like an after-school TV special for teenagers. It's amazing that a career girl movie this simple-minded attracted serious actors like Meryl Streep, Anne Hathaway, and Stanley Tucci. Hathaway stars as a former Daily Northwestern editor fresh out of school who wears her campus skirt and sweater to an interview with a scary fashion magazine editor played by Street. And before today, you had never heard of me. No. And you have no style or sense of fashion. Well, um, I think that depends on what you're... No, no. That wasn't a question. Will this little Midwestern girl survive the Wicked Witch of Manhattan? Get me that little table that I like at that store on Madison. Get us a reservation for dinner tonight at that place that got a good review last week. And you know it's delivered today. Will Andy fit into the high-powered world of the fashion industry? Mm. Shoot. Oh, never mind. I'm sure you have plenty more poly blend where that came from. Will she learn how to wear free designer samples as if they were her own? Are you wearing the, sh the Chanel boots? Yeah, I am. You look good. Well, her boyfriend, played by Adrian Grenier, wonder what happened to the old Andy that he fell in love with. You, you hate Runway and Miranda, and you think fashion is stupid. You've made that clear. Andy, I make port wine reductions all day. I'm not exactly in the Peace Corps. You know, I wouldn't care if you were out there pole dancing all night, as long as you did it with a little integrity. Will she have to go to Paris with her boss? The movie is based on a novel by Lauren Weisberger, which amazingly was a New York Times bestseller, meaning it was actually read by adults. I think I know more about high fashion than The Devil Wears Prada does, and I certainly know more about journalism. I give it two stars, and I'm Roger Ebert, ABC 7 News.